Hi there, today I want to talk about creating an oil colour blend using opaque and transparent pigments. Obviously, the smoother the surface, the better the blend. I'm going to use a canvas board to which I've added extra gesso and sanded to a fine finish. In order to distribute and blend the colour, I'm using Winsor & Newton's Liquid Fine Detail Medium and a wide flat blending brush and a soft dry blending brush to reduce any brush marks. Now I'm going to mix a range of red pigments from a dark to a light tonal range, avoiding any black which can dull your colours. Start by mixing the darkest tones of red, permanent alizarin crimson and dioxazine purple, both synthetic, transparent pigments which will give you a dark crimson hue. Dipping your brush into some blending medium, you can see the colour on the palette, but remember a lot of the mixing takes place on the surface of the support during the graduation. Complete your palette with transparent alizarin crimson and transparent Windsor red deep. Now cadmium red. Cadmium orange. And finally, Windsor lemon. Be sure to leave plenty of space between colours. Now begin the blend. You'll need to work confidently, blending in order from chromatically darker colours to lighter tones. First, the dioxazine purple and the permanent alizarin crimson mix. Blending into the alizarin crimson and Windsor red deep. Remember it's important to keep your colours clean and move your brush in one direction like this. Then to cadmium red, add in clean medium as you go and continue to blend into the adjacent colour, repeating your blending brush stroke. Look what happens when you mix a transparent pigment into an opaque cadmium red by adding transparent Windsor Red Deep. It tints the red to a slightly darker tone. And cadmium orange. You can see by blending cadmium red to cadmium orange, I achieve a tonal shift. Mix a small amount of transparent lemon yellow to the cadmium orange to achieve a more subtle tonal shift. For your last tone, pure lemon yellow. You can soften adjacent colours with a drier synthetic brush, which you can clean between each colour. Finally, using a very soft dry hake or badger brush, you can delicately skim the surface of the blend like this to take away the brush marks and smooth out your blend. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have.